Okay, here's a quick little run through of the tails from start to finish at this point. Um, this is the obviously the original tail that I hand carved out of 332nd balsa and then it was glass with a light layer of uh, uh, 3 quarter ounce glass using the water-based Minwax Polycrylic. And this is a nice easy to use system. You don't have to break out epoxies and when you come back to sand it, it sands pretty nice and you can apply multiple coats and then it sands pretty smooth. Uh, and then after that basically got many layers of clear coat, Krylon Crystal Clear. And then at that point you saw from the pictures it got made into uh, the mold. And this is a 40 Shore A hardness. Uh, 40 Shore A, that means the durometer, which some people may or may not understand, shores, the Shore hardness scale. But basically, this was done. And the re reason why we did it out of a clear is so we could come back and manually cut open to relieve the tail once it was cast. Uh, this is the first part that was popped out, just to look at the part, make sure everything came out pretty good, uh, which it did. Uh, this was actually just a second part. Uh, it had some dust and some small little chips in there and rather than trying to fish them out you just cast apart and it yanks it out. These are what they call kind of a uh, quick cast material and they're pretty uh, quick and they set really quickly. You can pop out in about 20 minutes. Uh, this was the, the, the serendipitous uh, screw up that actually looks pretty neat. Sometimes bubbles look really neat in a clear part if they're if there's a lot of them and they're kind of uniformly spread out, uh, it makes an interesting look. If you light it up, if you put LEDs, all those bubbles light up, kind of like uh, when you see frosted acrylic. So that may be something that comes along that's pretty interesting. And this last piece here, this is actually a really nice clear cast piece, uh, really high shine, very good clarity, no bubbles whatsoever, and you can see the flashing is still on there just to illustrate how stuff goes in and how it kind of comes out. This is I don't know which side I, I filled from, but basically either one could be a fill port and then the other side is directing the air out as the material flows, flows through the mold. So you can kind of see how that goes right there. And also too, I mean, these materials, they don't shrink a lot, but they do shrink a little bit. And these big areas kind of act as reservoirs so that if this part shrinks, it has makeup material that can it can feed from. But this part's so thin, it doesn't really shrink a whole lot. And then over here is the wing mold got the wing saddle on and we're gonna have to tape up a few of these open areas before we go to doing a silicone mold this one's gonna get lots of sanding and lots of clear and then polishing this weekend and then here's a fuselage which is clear coated primer was sanded through in a couple areas but it's, it's got a nice layer of clear over it and nice and shiny basically ready to go just gonna tape over the wing saddle tape over the firewall and then uh, support it from the back when we go to make the mold uh, you'll see how that process goes. So, till then, that's pretty much what we got.